never had him around Kaylee or the other children she had babysat, so it was never an uncomfortable situation. But this is so heart-wrenching because there was never a sign, never a single sign that this was going to happen. Right. Do you know where she was from? With a name like Zoraida or whatever? Zenaida. Zenaida? She's mixed. She's Puerto Rican and her father's black. She's from New York. I, from what I've been told, that's where she was born. She right. lived in Miami. She went to U of F. And you said you went to there. Colonial High School. Mm -hmm. Did you go to college afterwards? Or? Valencia. Valencia? How many years at Valencia? About a year and a half. Year I got my event planning certificate. Yeah. Oh, and that's when you got hired on here? At, uh... Well, I got that outside of all of this. I just wanted to do event planning, period. And working occasional events even before actually coming to the event department right. part-time or as a seasonal employee. It was just something I always wanted to do anyway. Right. So. Mm, when you were growing up, you take any medicines or anything? No. no. Uh, your baby take any medicines? Didn't she need any medicine? Not at all. She's good health? She's had one cold and it lasted two days her entire life. Yeah? Wow. She's been extremely healthy. Pediatrician. Who's your baby's pediatrician? Dr. Silva. Did uh, the police chair not very comfortable to get to no, lean way I'm, back? Exactly, I'm not comfortable alone. I feel like I'm leaning way back. <laughs> Did the nanny ever take uh, no. baby to the doctor? The only people that were on the list was myself and both of my parents. And my dad had come with me to a couple of visits. My mom, I think, came to one. It was usually just Kaylee and I. Favorite places to go? Uh, I guess Universal was one of them. Well, as a theatrical thing, of course, but right. she liked Jay Blanchard Park, going to Lake Underhill and walking around the lake. Where, where about in the park did she like the best? The playgrounds. She yeah. liked to just attempt to run around Lake Underhill. She liked to go and walk the big trail at Jay Blanchard Park. The yeah, she trail. Big she trail. loved that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we just finished walking that trail. That's where uh, the jogger was killed, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty park. My mom the, didn't want me going out there to run for that reason. Yeah. She didn't even want me running on the outside of our neighborhood around Chickasaw for the longest time because of that. I'm trying to think, when you pull into the park, is the playground off to the right? If you're looking at There's the creek or the river? Playgrounds. Which one did she play at? She's played at both of them, but usually the bigger one that's down towards where the Y is. Right. That's the one she liked the most? Yeah. Because there's more things to climb on and for her to run around, there's usually a lot more little kids. Yeah. So And there's swings. When was the last time she was there? The last time I know that she was there was the end of May. I took her in April a couple times. I've taken okay. her a few times myself this year. The last time that I know that she went with someone other than myself was the end of May. The end of May. And she last, you last saw her June the 9th? Monday. Monday. Do you remember what y'all did on June the 8th? The I can't think of what I did, but anything significant? I think I might have been at Tony's. I think my mom took Kaylee up to see her parents in Mount Dora. She either took her up there that Saturday What's or that Tony's? Sunday. It's my boyfriend's apartment. Oh, okay. Mount Dora, Mount Dora, Mount Dora, Mount Dora. It's just north of Apopka. Yeah. So that was like a day visit? For my parents, or for my mom, yeah. Like yeah. My mom goes up there even just by herself or with my dad or I go up there with her. It's usually just- Your mom will go, yeah. that's your, your, your current boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. So your mom will go up there and she, she no, likes My mom him? will go up to Mount Dora to see her parents. Oh, okay. And your your boyfriend just happens to live over too, they're not- No, he lives off of university. Oh, okay, I got you. So your baby went up there with your mom to see her parents. See her great grandparents. Yeah. How old are they? Wow, oh, my grandfather's I think eighty eight, maybe. Wow. And my grandmother's probably eighty two, eighty three. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. I am an interview, Meg. That's 
my partner. He's going on a cruise to Bahamas, I think. Nice. Uh, what is that, three day, four night, or Usually. four day, three night, or something like that. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, I guess, but I don't like boats. <laughs> so, man, I just don't know everything that was asked of you, and I just don't know. I mean, you're you're our biggest help. You're going to be our biggest help in, in solving this. I have nothing to go off of. That's the problem. I have perspective ideas of maybe where she could go, but at yeah. the same time, she could have gone back up to New York. She could have gone up to Jacksonville where we have a friend. Could have gone down to Miami where her mom and her sister live now. She could have gone anywhere. Did she have any children? No. And we're talking about the babysitter, right? She didn't have any children? No. Could, could she have children? I'm, Is it something that she could have done? I'm and pretty sure that she could. That was never anything that come, came up, but I mean, I'm... Did she ever, really when you look back, something. did she ever make any funny oh like i love this child you know i wish you were mine or anything like that or never that i had witnessed or anybody else had ever told me she used to just say how much she loved caitlin that she was such a good kid and you know she was very very proud of how she was being raised right it was always good praise but more of things that i heard from other friends nothing that sounded out of the ordinary that it was ever strange or, or weird right but then this just happened. She was nonchalant with me the morning of. Everything was perfectly fine. And when you contacted, when you would call, like you would drop baby off in the morning or for the day or was it because you had to go to work and she was watching? Mm -hmm. Would you call during the day? Call her up during the day? Oh, I would always call and check on Kaylee or send a text message or if I was online just to make sure that everything was okay or she would occasionally call me. Just Can you get online here at work? Can you send text messages from work? I usually just use my phone. Oh, okay. I usually text from, well, use my computer instant message from, you know, anywhere else where I have access. Well, once again, I mean, that phone, I, I'm not an electronic geek, but, I mean, the phone might have some valuable clues in there that can help us try to track down maybe the that. The bad thing is it only saves 20 calls at a time. And text messages, it only saves the messages that I receive. It doesn't show anything that I sent. That's why I pulled up a list of stuff for them. Is that a Boost phone? No, it's a Nokia. It's an AT&T phone. It's probably one of the cheapest, cheapest, crappiest, simplest phones. But the phone, but the phone company, your service will have your telephones itemized for for everything yeah, you pay, right? Yeah, I have everything. Right? But incoming and outgoing, right? Incoming and outgoing. The thing is. Do you have those itemized bills for? Mm -hmm. I printed off the ones for July. Did you give them to Yuri? Mm -hmm. Okay. We did last night. Actually, I put them on a zip drive form. I gave him my zip drive that has pictures okay. and it has two different Word documents. One that has my text messages, one they were sent to what number, mm -hmm. and ones that I had received. It didn't show the actual message itself, but it at least showed text message sent at this time to such and such number. Right. Um, same thing with the phone list. I just need to go back through, go back on the singular website and find the other months. Right. And I know she's had at least three different phone numbers in the last almost four years that I've met her. Mm -hmm. And I know that she was on two different phone plans. At and she's lived in times. two different places since, well, did you know her? She's lived in Since a she's been of watching your, your child? No, she's lived just in Orlando since I've met her. But she had just- In the Andover Lakes. She lived, was she watching your baby?